Okay, so right now I'm 168. 168, sure. And uh, I sprained my tendon. Oh. So I have to, I'm wearing this so my, I don't move my hand as much. Regularly it's just flat, but this hand. Wow. I have this. You usually wear long pants when you're climbing to protect your legs. Uh huh. And uh, I like wearing the cargo pants because they have the pockets down here. Uh huh. Because we have a harness on, you can't use these because the harness is here. And then you always want to have a long sleeve because you're going to be outside, you know, all day, and this can protect you from the sun. And yep. With a collar to protect you from the sun. And again, big pockets. Mm -hmm. When you're doing a big wall, most of the time I'm going to wear boots, some lightweight knee pads, which I wear when I'm on the wall. And mm -hmm. uh, they'll just protect my knees. So this is my harness. It has a lot of uh, extra stuff on it for aid climbing. And when you get up on the cliff, you don't take your harness off. Like, you sleep with it on. You basically, you put the underwear on, you put the pants on, you put the harness on, you don't take them off until you get done. Like at night, you loosen the leg loops so you're a little more comfortable, but mm -hmm. you don't ever take the harness off because you right. have to be tied into the wall. So, because if you roll over, if you have the harness and you fall off, then that's it. So those are my climbing shoes. If I was going to be actually free climbing, so I've got all the the gear here, extra carabiners. On this side, I have all my cams, all my nuts. All the equipment you would need to do the climb, like if you were leading. And then I would probably have some of these, like, on me as well. So now I'm 205. So before, I was 168, so let's just say 165, so it's 75, 85, 95, 05. So this is 40 pounds. 40 pounds. More than just normal. Without even the bag, right? Yeah, no, that's just me, like, yeah, that's climbing. <laughs> this is what it's gonna so be. So you're climbing with 40 pounds? 40 extra pounds, yeah. This is a 40 pound weight vest. I've been wearing this two, three, four, five, six hours a day. I uh -huh. just put it on when I wake up and I just, I go to work, I walk around, I drive, I uh -huh. do dishes, I make food, whatever. I just wear it because this 40 pounds is the same as this 40 pounds. It's a good way for me to train, like, all day. Yeah. Because when I'm climbing, you know, you wake up when the sun comes up and you climb until it gets dark. So I need to get used to 40 uh -huh. extra pounds for like 10 hours. So, um, but it's not practical to walk around the house or go to work looking like this. Last week I took a rest and I didn't wear it at all. But <laughs> I feel relieved. The two weeks before that, okay. um, every day, five hours. Yeah, so I'm almost 210 with this vest on. Obviously, this is much smaller. And it doesn't move, you know. When I had all the gear on, it's so flying around and it's yeah. very loud, like, you know. I can walk around, I can run. <laughs> now I can sit down. And every time I move, it's like all that, the same way. But this is just easy. Like I'm at work, I go, I, I do this. So like, you can see I have it, have it on, but it's not as noticeable. My calves, they're the, they're the one. These are the most tired. Oh. Not my back. It's because every, every, every step you take, mm -hmm. you go like this, and so every, every single step, my calves extra 40 pounds. Boom, boom. A big part of the training mm -hmm. is not the physical, it's the prep. And if you prepare correctly, even if you're not in the best shape, if your technique is really good and you're really well prepared, you'll probably do fine. If you're very fit, but you don't know what you're doing, you don't do any prep, you're probably not gonna go do very well. So it's important to do all three. Get fit, get good technique, and also be prepared. So okay. there it is. <laughs>